Good evening, friends. Let's proceed further with the um, Kaiser Mayer Olkin test uh, after completing the Bartley's test because I congratulated myself that yes, I can proceed further with the uh, factor analysis. However, that was just the first checkpoint. What about the second checkpoint now? Now, here you will see that KMO test, which is the uh, short form for Kaiser Mayer Olkin test, um, you know, it gives you the measures, measures for what to check out whether the data is suitable for factor analysis or not so that is what the checkpoint is for me so here you will see the adequacy checkpoints are we will be observing each and every variable number one number two we even need to check the complete model that is present so these are the two adequacy checkpoints which are present and then I will proceed further now uh, if you are observing um, uh, the variable then you should know that this is basically we are estimating and what are we trying to estimate we are trying to estimate the proportion of the variance that is present um, between all the observed variables that means that you need to check out for the variance to see whether uh, it is present or not as simple as that and if you proceed further here what do you mean by proportion of variance that was the next question for me so here it would be that uh, two things are there for suitability if you find that variance is very high or the variance is very low so here this is what you need to check out for yourself if it is a very high one you will say it is not good if it is low you will go ahead and uh, you will say uh, that yes I can proceed further with the uh, uh, the test of the KMO and uh, it is successfully being taken care and I will carry forward now here you will see that two points to remember uh, it, this proportion of variance ranges between 0 and 1 this is the distribution test we all know that value of KMO less than 0 0.6 that means it is inadequate remember that if it is now if it is more then you will say that it is adequate and one may proceed further with the factor analysis also side by side that's number one that you need to remember second thing uh, that you will see out here is that uh, uh, you know whenever you are talking about the variance part of it you should also remember that uh, you know KMO is the test that is going to be helpful for you to understand what is is the uh, variance which is present for me in the uh, amongst the variables that's number two now here uh, you know Bartley's test uh, gave me that yes uh, you know the p-value is significant one and I was able to go ahead with the uh, uh, factor analysis with the help of the KMO okay it, it tells us whether the data is suitable for the data analysis or not and here it is for the observed variable as well as for the complete model so here once we have taken care lower proportion means it is more suitable for the factor analysis so um, higher one as I have reiterated myself if it is high then it is not good however if it is a low then you can proceed further with your um, factor factor analysis so this is what the Kaiser Mayer Olkin test is all about so let us proceed further and see how to uh, perform the uh, uh, test that we have got that is the KMO now uh, how to choose the ca ca factors will be taken care later on now we will uh, focus more on the uh, Kaiser uh, KMO test and find it out as to how to get, take care of it now if you will look at it the uh, entire uh, I should say code for this can be understood wherein you are going to again um, I would say go ahead uh, for from a uh, factor analyzer you are going to import uh, that means this is the package from factor analyzer dot factor analyzer import calculate KMO okay now KMO underscore all all for what for the 
for the variable and the second one is for the model i'm saying that please calculate kmo from where from my data frame that means the name of the data frame is df that has been given to us now if you will uh, run the kmo model you will see that the answer that you are getting is equals to what 0 0.8486 or for 5230946 382 so you will see that this is the value and if i go ahead and approximate it it will come out to be 0 0.84 and 0 0.84 is an excellent value which means uh, it's a good one for me so i will go ahead and proceed further with the factor analysis for myself so that is <clears throat> how we are going to understand the kmo test for our uh, factor analysis and then proceed further so thank you for watching Take care. Bye.